Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's November 22nd of 2017. And I'm just going to cover a few little topics in this video. Uh, I really intended, I got a couple whiteboards set up here that I write things on that are important. I really had intended to make a good video for November 22nd of this year. I was going to go to some places and get some B-roll video that I could put in and uh, I didn't get it done. I'm, uh, I'm, I was really pretty healthy all my, my life and then just a few years ago, I forget which thing came up and I ended up, was that for a can't remember but it was minor and oh that was a heart cath just because I was having chest pain and irregular heart rhythm and and uh, stuff but you know the when I was admitted to the hospital the nurse asked you know have you had any operations and I said no and have you had any and it was but all of a sudden now just a few years on, I have diabetes. And I have a pacemaker that's been put in. Uh, I'm not even sure what they call the diagnosis. They did a uh, just recently a echocardiogram of the heart, and I think it's from the one chamber that pumps it to the other chamber. Uh, Thirty-eight percent of the blood goes. It's supposed to be, I think, 72 or 73 percent goes. Uh, it's just to walk down to the mailbox and come back. I, I, I don't, I don't think I'm going to make it. Sometimes. Um, and it's been that way for a while. Uh, if I have to bend over to put on shoes and socks, which I very rarely do my blood pressure, just bending over to put on shoes and socks, my blood pressure goes up to like over 200. And so I really wanted to go out and make something. I'll put a link to this video that was that I uh, did um, in 2006, but and I actually haven't seen it since probably 2006. I probably did see it for some reason a few years ago. But it's six minutes, and uh, it's about the John F. Kennedy assassination and where I was and what I felt and uh, what have you. And maybe I'll make, maybe I'll be around and uh, next year. God, start don't want to start sounding like my mother who she passed away a few years ago, but from Alzheimer's, but. Uh, Every year for, I don't know, 15, <laughs> 10, 15 years, she said, I won't be around, you know. Because I'd always buy her a, a, a diary. She loved to re put in every day into a diary. And so every year I would buy her one. And every year she'd say, there's no need to buy one. I won't be here next year. I don't want to start sounding like her. But uh, anyway, this video... I'm pretty sure that the uh, the you know the the video you're not going to probably want to watch that video on. I wonder what in heck yeah you're not going to watch it on a want to watch it on a big screen TV or anything like that. Is that it? Yeah, it's 480p is all it is, and I don't think the audio was very good and. Uh, so anyway, I'll put the link to that below. But today is the anniversary of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Uh, I think there may have been a little, I haven't made, I'm not sure if I've made a, had a lot of stressful situation going on here at, at home. I've been uh, really depressed and worried and uh, 
but things in the last week have you know improved if you've watched my videos you probably have a little bit of uh, idea of what it is I have a son who is uh, you know he's a grown I'm a grown son and uh, from time to time he doesn't take his medicine and he needs to take his medicine and when he doesn't take his medicine it's hard on him but it's hard on us also it causes a lot of problems uh, things have improved his doctor he had to go see his doctor it was a regular appointment but he uh, went to see the doctor and the doctor actually called us on the phone with him in the office and talked to my ex-wife and myself and uh, changed his medication uh, to a really scary medication, well, Haldol. Uh, and it's a really scary medication, but so he's on it taking pills. And uh, after X number of days, he's going to get an injection. And then he's going to take it for a few more. He's going to take the pills also, I think. And the, the goal is to get him to where he can just have that injection once a month. And like I said, the medicine is scary, but anyway, we've been really concerned. And right now he's much better. And so we can breathe a little sigh of, of relief. Um, so anyway, I'll put a link below to this Kennedy video. Um, I'm sure you've heard that the FCC is uh, planning to do away with net neutrality. I'm not going to go in. I'm sure you're probably, if you're on the internet and uh, probably if you're watching uh, this video, you probably are more so than other people. But uh, that's going to be bad if net neutrality, if the FCC does do away with net neutrality. They've been, the Republicans have been wanting to do it. If I'm correct, I may not be correct on that. I think the FCC board agency is, has five people on it. Two are Democrats, appointed Democrats, and two are reported or uh, Republicans. And then the chairman is uh, whoever the president is, whichever party he belongs to, the president can appoint someone. Of course, the president is going to appoint somebody from his own party. So we have now three Republicans and two Democrats, and the Republicans, of course, will <coughs> want to do away with net neutrality. It's not good. You can do a search. You can go to Wikipedia and do a search. Um, Maybe I'll put a link to Wikipedia. If you know of a really good video that explains it on, U on uh, YouTube, um, get, you know, leave me the link and I'll put a link to that also. Maybe I'll find one before you, before you can leave a comment. Actually, you don't have to, well, you can just, you know, put the link in the comment that you make. Um, I got these speakers today. I'm not going to do. I'm just a few hours ago. I love Amazon. I hate to say that because you know, like I'm loving. Do I? I'm loving a monopoly that's putting everybody else out of business. And I, you know, what kind of what kind of country we're going to end up with? Maybe world. You know, there'll be uh, what YouTube and. Google and um, Amazon and there'll just be a few but anyway I I think about one o'clock today or whatever I decided to order these speakers I have a yeah I have one let me get it for you uh. I got this sound blaster uh, 
whatever it's called, that has multiple speakers and it has multiple microphones and different uh, things, and it does all kinds, you know. But this here, uh, I think might work better for me. The ones that I got today, because it has right here, I can reach right over for the adjustment for the volume. It has a treble and uh, bass or whatever it is. Um, might work out better for me, so I went ahead and got it today. Um, I plugged in, I may not keep it plugged in, I plugged in my, uh, into the auxiliary and the ECHO device that I have over there. Don't want to say it, it'll activate. Um, so I think it may work better. Two, if you've been watching my videos or reading my blog for, I've been blogging since 1982. I've had my first computer I got in 1978. I was around before and doing stuff before. I was doing video and everything else before there was a YouTube, uh, before there was an Amazon, before there was Google, you know. But um, if you've been following me, you know that I'm not somebody who should be reviewing uh, speakers. I had, I think, around a second or third grade hearing loss in both ears, quite severe, that I, I was never examined for, I never was treated for. The school did had a, somebody come in and do testing on all the kids there. They sent notes home to my parents for at least two years, maybe three years, with, with a graph and everything that showed. You know, actually, the only time in my life that I ever tried to cheat in school was on the hearing test. We, they, small Catholic school, and they took us to the library. Now, I don't think all of us would go, you know. We went in group to uh, into the library, sit down at the long table, put the headphones on each, you know. And so I was in the second or first, second or third grade, something like that. And I forget how it worked, except you wrote down when you heard a tone on your paper, and I didn't hear anything, and all the other kids were marking. So I was trying to see what they were, <laughs> what they were marking. I remember a girl covering up, you know, covering up her paper so I couldn't copy. Um, so, and actually, years later, when I, I went to a military high school, Catholic military high school, and we were ROTC on steroids. It was, you know, military, religion, military. Of course, we had to have the other classes too, but... Um, I just totally always forgot about my hearing problem. I knew I had it, and I adapted to it. Um, like in school, in grade school, I didn't really understand why when the spelling and when they're sounding out words and all that type of stuff, I was sitting in class, and it all sounded the same to me, and so I wasn't too, you know... Uh, but what I totally didn't think about was I had made up my mind that's why I wanted to go to military high school that I was going to make a career of the military and it never occurred to me that I just never thought about it that hearing would be the problem well when I went out, got out of high school I went down to enlist and I was 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement that the military had. I didn't know they had a minimum weight requirement. I, you know, you know, I, I thought that, you know, going to the military, they, you know, make a man out of you, build you up or whatever. But it never occurred to me that the hearing would be a problem. And then a few years later, two or three years later, I got notified for the mandatory selective service physical, and I went down for that. There was 200 of us uh, right across in Kansas City, Missouri, right across from the Union Station. And 
So 200 of us got naked and immediately the doctor, out of 200, the doctor saw me and came over and said, uh, have you been sick, been in the hospital or something? I said, no. I was about 115 pounds and you could see my bones. If they if they needed somebody to appear in a movie about the Holocaust or whatever, I could have been, I could have been in the movie. Um, and then, you know, we went, then the doctor went down the line and eliminated a whole bunch of football player types, bad knee, bad knee, bad knee, bad knee. And uh, then 199 guys gave the urine specimen. Of course, by the way, when they started to, uh, when they drew blood, the foot, some, a bunch of the football players <laughs> passed out. Uh, anyway, 199 people gave their urine specimen when it was asked for. Guess who was the 200th who couldn't give urine? I just couldn't urinate for them. Not a problem now. Man, I got in large prostate and I'm taking pills for the prostate and I'm taking pills for the uh, heart condition and what else? High blood pressure, diabetes. But I couldn't urinate for them. And so about noon, 199 left, and I was still there. So I, I asked, could I go across the street to the Union Station and get a Coke? No, 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 no drinking, you know. So I was there at 1 o'clock with the other people. Of course, they actually had work to do, the other, the medical people that were there, filling out paperwork or lab or whatever they did. I was there at 2 o'clock. At, I'm sure again I asked repeatedly you know could I just go across about 3 or 3.30 or something like that I said could I go you know and they said go and I went and had a, a coke came back urinated for him got to go home I got a notice in the mail that I was 1A went down to the army recruiter went in and he said oh he said yeah you're, I got a list of everybody who's 1A I'd have, been, I'd have been contacting you, so which, uh, you know, I was in the Army, it was the Army, and uh, here's things we've got available, which, you know, I think I put down teletype repair, the, the list of stuff. And he said, well, okay, and I said, I'm a little bit, of course, he asked me a bunch of questions on, like they did last time, you know, and uh, I said, well, I'm a little bit pissed, you know, I... I wanted to make a career in the military. I still want to make a career in the military, but I was down here a couple of years ago and you guys rejected me. And, you know, for being 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement. And uh, this, by the way, was when the military was trying also to get people for, uh, you know, get, um, people were trying to get out of the military. I was trying to get into it. Uh, and he said, well, yeah, you do look thin. He said, how much do you weigh? And I told him, and he said, uh, so he called up the Selective Service Physical. I got this guy here, you know, and he is, uh, well, you pull this thing out and look at his height and weight and everything. So they pulled out and they said, oh, made a mistake. He's, he'll get a one Y, we'll send it out, one Y. He's gonna be one Y. That was <clears throat> a fit for military service. Uh, under emergency situations or something, something like that. Same thing that Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump ended up with. Uh, I'm 77. I think Donald Trump's a few years younger, but he went to, by the way, a military high school. But then he went on to a university also. But he got student deferments, and then he, when he couldn't get student deferments anymore, he got a deferment for a. Uh, something with his foot spur, foot spur or something rather. And so he got a one Y. And because of, so I had a one Y card that I had my, you had to carry it in your billfold or you had to carry it with you for, uh, eventually I took it out. Um, but I had it there forever. So I always thought I was one Y. 
but then I was reading about Donald Trump and how he uh, did everything he could to avoid the draft and bragged about it. Uh, and then I read in there they had, you know the news media talking about the thing and they said that he had a one Y deferment, but that all one Y deferments were in such and such a date changed to four F. And so then, damn, I, then I realized I was 4F. Um, so now, why did I get onto that topic? Oh, speak, oh. See, that's it. I found my way back in, from the wilderness of my head. Uh, when I had that selective service physical, uh, they just had like a door and you stood on one side and somebody on the other side said a number like three. I heard that, or you know, whatever the number was or whatever, I heard that, but my hearing was really bad, um, really bad. But it never occurred, that never occurred to me. And thank God I was rejected, I guess, for the weight. Because if I hadn't been rejected, I see I had, in the beginning, I'd have went, or when the select, if I hadn't gone for some reason then, I would have, but when the selective service came, they'd have put me on a bus or a train and uh, sent me down to basic. And then at the, you know, at the camp, then they would do the headphones. They would do a whole bunch of testing there. So I would have uh, said goodbye to all my friends. I would have, uh, my dad would have been proud of me going in the military. He would have told all his friends that his son had gone, you know, had gone into the army. And in a, probably a week or less, I would have been back home. Uh, I don't know, man, my dad would have really been embarrassed. And uh, I never heard of him ever sending anybody back like from the camp. I'm sure it happened all the time. I'm sure I'm not the only one that, that you know, would have gotten had it, and had been sent back right away for a hearing problem or some other type of medical problem that they didn't catch. And uh, But I had a, I met him one time, I had a second cousin, I guess. And like I said, I met him one time he was sent down to he joined I don't know whether he joined or got drafted because he was a I think a few years older than I was and he was sent back and uh, I think he was gay but anyway the, the people said about him you know uh, military you know he was gay the military sent him back that would not have been good at, back then to uh so, oh, <laughs> my hearing is so bad that I've had speakers, had a, my son-in-law is really into uh, video and audio, not creating stuff, but, you know, watching and consuming it. And he's really into speakers or, he can, you, know, you know, I've made a mistake a few times of saying something about you know, video or 4D or 1080 or whatever, and he knows about it. And he'll tell. He wants to tell you about it. And uh, uh, he gave me a, a really expensive a new. He purchased for me a new a set of really really good speakers. He said, "Oh, you're going to love these." And of course, you know the. The hertz, there's low hertz and the high hertz and the whatever. I don't really know anything about audio. And I couldn't tell any difference with those speakers over other speakers. The only thing I, so I'm not going to be reviewing speakers. I do like these so far. When I have the adjustment available to me, I'm not interested in the, the brass does not work out well for me. I know that. I know that much. I make the audio as tinny sounding. That works out better with my hearing. 
you know, I love electronics, always did. I have one of the first people to have a Palm device. Um, I, I would get uh, the early watches that were out where you could set alarms and have your uh, pulse taken with it and all that type of stuff. And I watches those that type of alarm, the sound could not hear could not hear at all and a lot of others uh, things like that uh, so anyway I'll put a link to these by the way if you can please when you purchase something from Amazon where is it is it that's not it that's not it that's not it that's it I'll put a link below, but if you can, uh, if you're going to be purchasing something, go to, you know, Amazon.com slash shop slash HNBBS, Howard Notebook Bulletin Board System, HNBBS, because if you purchase something, I will get um, a commission. And I think last month I made... $24 for commission. This month um, I will make $2.28 in commissions. Now the next month a, a guy purchased a, because he used my link and he purchased uh, a computer, not an expensive, I think $600 computer, and I'll be getting $35 in commission for that. So please uh, use this link if you can. I'll put it below. Um, see, where was I? Back here. Nope. Net neutrality. The speakers. Uh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving here in the United States, and Hillary, my daughter, and one of my daughters, is making turkey and going to bring it all over here for us. And uh, it's her birthday. And Friday is Black Friday. And I'm going to be looking to see what's, if I see some really good deals. But I have a cell phone that I'm a blue. I forget the model of it. I'm very happy with it. Um, it has uh, three, three gigabytes of memory. I could use a little bit more, but it's not a real problem. I'm really happy with it. But uh, I want a new one. And this, I understand, the Samsung Galaxy 5, Note 5 is not new. A couple years old. But I do like the, uh, the pen. I... Uh, like the pen and some other things about it and so if I don't find something that I really want on sale I think Friday I'm going to order the Galaxy Note 5 uh, by the way I notice this is model number N920A and I think there's a 920B and a 9, I know there's a 920C if you happen to know but I mean this price here uh, of course I'd love to have it on Friday have that be on sale but um, by the way I do not have a, I have two cameras that are great Panasonic I love them but I do not have a camera well other than my uh, Logitech USB cameras. Um, this one does 4K, but it's a USB camera. By the way, uh, this, if you're make, I see, I watch a lot of YouTube videos a lot, uh, trying to pick up ideas and trying to learn things. It's gotten to where if I want to know how to do something or 
before I purchase something, I go to I go to Amazon and read their reviews, and then I go to YouTube and read, you know, I watch what the people are talking about with the things, and uh, a lot of the YouTube experts, and I really like watching their videos. That the ones that tell you how they make videos or whatever will, uh, you know, tell you well you need such and such a camera and and you need you know fantastic lighting and <clears throat> all this type of stuff. Um, they use Logitech USB webcams, really do excellent. And I have two lights up here that I can kick some a lot of light in, but I don't have a little lamp over there. That's all that's in here, and these cameras work great with low light and uh, so if you do want to make YouTube videos now you know you have these are USB so they're hooked <laughs> if you're gonna go making walking and talking videos or go to the zoo and make videos or whatever then they these USB cameras are not uh, but they do great um, so any, but anyway, I don't really have a 4K camera, and uh, that's the uh, FZ200. Why do I always say Z? And this is the LX7, and there's an LX10 which does 4K, but I don't have it. There is a, this is a 200, there is a 300 which does 4K. Uh, a lot of cell phones do 4K. Mine doesn't happen to do 4K, I don't, I don't think. I really don't want to use a cell phone to do video, but I see people making fantastic videos and be, making 4K videos with cell phones people making unbelievable YouTube videos with a cell phone. I just, uh, I want a real camera. But, um, so I may be getting this, uh, which does 4K video, by the way. I think, sure it does. Uh, yeah, 4K. 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. Uh, but on Friday, for the Black Friday, if, well, I have this here, there's no way I can afford that. And the G85, no way I can afford that. Uh, now the FZ300, I told you that before, I actually had one for a month and it broke, but a great camera. The G7 was what I would like to have. It's $500. Um, that's just here. And uh, a great cam, watched every video on YouTube of people reviewing and talking about it, showing video or whatever. Uh, great camera, I'd like to have it. If there'd be a good deal on that, uh, say instead of 497, if it would be 400, I would get that instead of the cell phone. But um, this one here, the Panasonic FZ80, this is an unbelievable price for the for what this thing does. It has a 60x zoom on it. Uh, that's from 20 to 1,200 zoom lens, and it does a bunch of other things. Of course, there are a lot of things that it, you know, a lot of things that it doesn't have. It's not weatherproof, uh, but. You know, I'm tempted at this price, really tempted at this price to get it. But I mean, it's going to be this, the FC80, or the cell phone. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be buying both. 
but the deciding factor might be um, Black Friday. If this, if they went to 300 instead of, if they knocked $50 off this uh, on Friday, I'd go with it. Uh, Now the G7 would be fantastic. It's five hundred dollars. If they'd knock a hundred off that, I would go. I'd go for that. So, okay, we talked about that. Talked about that. Uh, one thing though about the G7, I know it takes interchangeable lenses. And I know what's going to happen, I, you know. These other cameras don't take in, you know, so I'm happy you know, with them. But if if I got this G7, then I'd want another lens for it and probably another lens, and I'd be spending all my money getting lenses. By the way, I'm using a... Oh, wait a minute, yeah. I did I was thinking this was... I put this on here thinking it was the... LG. I'm using a. Oh no, this is this is for HD or for 4K. Now I think of my wish. <clears throat> my voice is going. Wish list. Oh, here it is. I have an LG 25 inch ultra wide monitor and. Uh, at 29 inches, $226. And I don't know, you know, this this works out. I'm seeing the same thing you're seeing, you know. Um, I put things on my wish list that I'm not really going to, you know. <laughs> this is for cans of pop. And, but I am eventually going to get a nice making machine, little thing. We use a lot of ice here. Put things on here. On remember, follow, maybe recommend. Uh, now I did think about this. Uh, what is it? Yahweh, Huawei Mate Nine uh, cell phone. It's really nice, but it's almost five hundred dollars. I'm not going to go that route. So what did I want to, anything else I wanted to cover? Very happy with this printer, by the way, the HP OfficeJet uh, 4650. Really, it's really inexpensive, I forget how much. Um, really happy with it. Oh man, move out of the way. I am going to do a review of this. I did an Amazon review. I like this as a USB. Uh, look, it's unplugged. It's still got, still lit up. Can you see that? Let's have a capacitor in there that eventually will drain down. I think it's draining down now, getting weaker and weaker. But it's uh, really nice. I did a review on. Amazon, but I, I think I'll do a review for you because I do like it. Another thing which I did, I think, review, I think, I know I reviewed it on Amazon, but uh, I'm not sure if I did on, but just this metal thing, it works out great, you know, it's adjustable for your cell phone or tablet, I guess, I know cell phone, but see, on my cell phone here, the uh, charging is at the bottom of it. This works out great because the way I've got it adjusted, cord can ride, you know, run right up to it. So, uh, what else? I think that's it. So, 
for everybody in the United States or any other place that is celebrating Thanksgiving, a very, uh, hope you have a very nice family gathering and have a very nice Thanksgiving. And thank you for watching this video. Sorry about my voice, but you're probably lucky that it gets me to stop. Thank you again for watching.